introduce yourselves and what instruments you guys play. Uh, I'm TJ Quake. Uh, I'm the rapper in the group, kind of right. crazy wild man. Uh -huh. <laughs> crazy wild man. Yeah, crazy one. I'm Jared Harris, lead singer, bass. Nice. Let's, let's talk about the album, The Key. What do fans expect from this album? Fans should expect uh, something different. We like to bring something different every time we put something out. It's, uh, it's a little bit of rock, it's a little bit of hip hop, it's a little bit of funk. We always have funk in there. That's, I always, that's uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's all funk. Yeah, yeah. You guys are from the OC? OC. Orange County. Yeah. What city? What city is you from in Orange County? Mission Viejo, man. Mission Viejo? Right. Ah, I grew up in Westminster in Orange really? County. Really? Yeah, well, I'm close. Right I'm like there. Santa Ana. No, he's Mission Viejo. I'm Santana. Oh, Santana. <laughs> hey, how does a group like that get, how do you guys get together in OC, man? By accident. What's coming out of Orange County? You, you know, uh, we're under the radar, so right. <laughs> it's kind of like a lot of people don't recognize what's coming out of OC, but we're about to change all that. Right, it's a lot, actually, there's a lot of bands that come out of Orange County, mm -hmm. no doubt, come out yeah, of Orange okay. County. Mm -hmm. uh, Sublime was someone. Yeah, Long Beach. Long no, Beach, uh, Long Beach OC kind of area. Right. Sugar Ray, right, right. Uh, Real Big Fish, <laughs> a lot of yeah. bands like that. Right. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're trying to bring you. Do a classic remake of a war, classic war song, mm -hmm. um, Lowrider. Tell mm -hmm. me how you guys picked that song to be on this album. You want to take this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, that was presented to us by uh, uh, Verdine White and our, um, okay. People our manager, Scott Julian, from Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, that, was, that was his idea, and, uh, you know, it was something that uh, it kind of it threw me for a loop because, you know, I didn't really see Slapback as a, as, as a band that set up to do something like a war song. Cause they're they're kind of more like that mixture of Latin right. uh, um, right. and, and funky, too. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan, you know. So when he said that song, I was like, okay. all right, yeah. 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 Well, he's all I, I, I think, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and just it just hit me one day as I was driving. I'm like, oh, I could flip it like that. So, you know. And then pulled the Quake and the rest of the band on it and uh, made, it made it come it together. Yeah. You guys do some work with Shock G too, right? You did you the underground? Yeah. Let me tell you something about Shock G. I've, I've been in the studio with Shock G, and he's one of the most underrated producers yes. in the game. Yeah. He still has, he has a lot of funk in him. Like, he yeah. could have been a member of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Funk, yeah. Or he yeah. could be a member of Slapback. Yeah. What's your, what, what does Shock G do with you guys? He, uh... And people don't know Shock G is Humpty. Yeah. They're one yeah. and the same guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He flips it. He well, flips it. Well, you know, we, we, had, we had the opportunity working with Shock G first, because uh, uh, we warmed up for Shock G, uh, Digital Underground, actually, about, it was like, 90, 98 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he just, out of the blue, saw our site and reached us, like, two years ago. Just out of the blue, you know, we met him once. Right. I think he met him. I, didn't, I had to go to yeah. another gig. I didn't so meet he him. He saw you performing. He saw us perform, and he had this idea of doing. Actually, they were on doing the side the, of the stage jamming with it. Yeah, they were oh, rocking with it. They loved okay. it, and uh, and so he had uh, this idea of going out with a live band, and he thought of us and just contacted us, and so then you know from us we kind of became the same clique, and then so uh, he pulled in Digital Underground on a song later with Money B and right. Eli and all that kind of stuff. Right, too. right, right. Yeah. You know what, there's a lot of resurgence happening with different types of R&B, Neo right. Soul. Um, yeah. You think Funk's on his way back? Yeah, it's just coming back. Yeah, right, right. We don't push it up for y'all. Nah, it never left, though. It never, it never left. left. It's, it's, it's been, been in the it's been, music it, all Yeah, it's right. never left. There's always sticking in there somewhere. People don't realize it. I hear those claps and all the mm -hmm. like, right, West Coast yeah, yeah, rap yeah, yeah, songs, yeah, yeah, so right. it's all good, right. man. Check it out. Let's keep it moving. Slapback's in the building. We got a video from former Blink-182 